Don't Forget the Doc. Several network participants recently called into Dr. Rick Wright's Old School Sunday's radio show. Check this out. Let's go out to Boston, Massachusetts and find the world's greatest genius of music, Mr. John Kellogg, graduate of Syracuse University, the SI Newhouse School of Public Communications, incredible law degree from, what's that, uh, Case Reserve, John? That's right, that's right. In Cleveland, Ohio. Yes, sir. And right now, John is like the, I like to call him the associate dean of the Berkeley School of Music in Boston, Massachusetts. How are things in Boston this afternoon, John? Kind of cold, but it's well. Doing well. How you doing, Doc, right? Man, I tell you, the music world has suffered a real tragedy with Jennifer Hudson, man. Yes, it's terrible. You know, we've had so many over these past uh, few weeks, you know, with the deaths of... Uh, Isaac Hayes and of course uh, Levi Stubbs. Oh. Of course, the tragedy with Jennifer Hudson. It's been it's been really terrible. It's been tough, man. But we got to get out the vote here on Tuesday so we can make some great things happen. Oh yeah. So, John, how's the world of music and the music business in these crazy economic times in America and all throughout the world? Well, I've got good news today in the biz, uh, Dr. Wright. You know, we're going to give a report on the business behind the music because everybody knows somebody in the music business. Doc, this week, Billboard magazine had a special feature titled Women in Music that honored their 2008 most powerful women in the music business. And at number three was a black woman, Sylvia Rohn. Oh, yes. That's right. Sylvia Rohn is president of Universal Motown Records. She came in and at number three on the list. And Sylvia, of course, is no newcomer to the record business. I remember when she succeeded Hank Caldwell. And you remember Hank Caldwell, don't you, Doc? Yes, Ray? I know Hank well, man. Yes, yes, yes. Hank Caldwell is VP of Black Music at Atlantic Records. Right after Hank signed the group Levert over 20 years ago. Levert was one of her first successes, and since that time, she's helped develop and enhance the career of countless others like Troop, Tupac, Anita Baker, Keith Sweat, and LSG. She was the first woman to head an international major record label, East West Records, in the 90s. And most recently, she engineered the meteoric first week sale of one million units of Lil Wayne's The Carter Three, making that the highest first week sales in Universal Motown history. So when you talk about breaking through the glass ceiling, Sylvia has truly shattered it in the music business. So remember that name, Sylvia Rome a woman with over 25 years in, in the music business as a key executive in the music industry. Quite an accomplishment and a remarkable career indeed. Well, that's it for this week. Reminding you, every time the music gets played, somebody gets paid. And if you're a songwriter, artist, or a producer, you should get paid and not played. That's it, Doc Wright. Talk to you soon. Hey, John, before I let you run, man, where yeah. is Troop is the featured article in this week's edition of Jet Magazine, man. No kidding. Yeah, the November 3rd, 2008 edition of Jet Magazine, page 24. I haven't 24. had a chance to see that. Yeah, where is Troop? Tight well, harmonies. Well, I, I, I know Steve Russell, the lead singer of Troop, I understand, is working with a deal with Haven Entertainment, which is a new entertainment company that just started in Washington, D.C., that's going to really work on getting brand names of uh, uh, artists that have had brands, that their, their names really branded, and try to really work with them and, and exploiting them uh, in with commercials and, and licensing and other types of deals. And it's my understanding that Steve Russell is one of the featured acts on Haven Entertainment. So I know he's still out there. I don't know where the other guys are. I haven't seen them in quite a while. I tell you, the article spells everything out, man. Tells where all of them are located, man. I mean, oh, all that's fantastic. of them. I can't wait to see that. Those are all good guys. All of them. In fact, the article's got your buddy, Rodney uh, Benford, Stephen Russell, John Harrod, Al. Alan McNeil yeah. and Reggie Warren, man. Got a oh, picture of him in 1988, so I thought you might want to know that. I'm trying to yeah. keep up with my academic pursuits of music when I have you on the phone and on the radio here, John Gellar. You know, you know, Troop was a great, great group. You know, they were one of the most dynamic performing groups. They had choreography, man. That choreography was really something. Well, I tell you, I got to find some Troop and get some Troop on the air. Old School Sunday this afternoon and dedicated to the incredible genius of John Kellogg, the attorney for Levert and also one of the big-time singers with Cameo of Yesteryear. Well, John, it's a pleasure having you on air with me every Sunday. It's my in-resident music expert from Boston, Massachusetts. Go out and get some legal seafood, man. All right, man, I will do that.
Talk to you in a couple of weeks. Peace. Okay, John Kellogg. Today's R&B and Old School. To the Syracuse University Network. Oh, love you, baby. We are getting there. Technologically sophisticated in 2008. From Dr. Rick Wright, Power 106.9 Radio, here in Syracuse, for the whole world. Love you, baby. Love you. Yeah. All right. The network reminds you that you, too, may call in to Dr. Rick Wright on Sundays between 1 p.m. and 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Check in with the doc at area code 315-428-1069. Don't forget the doc.